circular bar chart, also known as circular bar plot, is a chart wrapped around a circle. Regular bar chart are typically a better chart for most use cases, but circular bar chart is quite commonly used these days and are quite useful when we are trying to show the direction or time series in a less space on a dashboard. So let's dive straight into it and see how to create a circular bar chart in Tableau. Welcome back, this is Kapreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create a circular bar chart in Tableau. So before we dig into that, let's understand the basic fundamentals of creating a circular bar chart. So in this tutorial, I'll be using trigonometrical functions for plotting this chart. And as you can see on the screen, so this is how a circular bar chart looks like. So in this scenario, I have color coded the order date years into these different colors and each bar or a line is representing the sales number for each month. So if we hover over to this particular one, you will see for the month of March 2018, the sales are 55,000. And if we go to the month of September 2018, it's 81,000. And the month year are going in the clockwise direction, starting from 2018 and going all the way up to 2021. So as you can see here, we are plotting these lines or bar on the circumference of a circle. So in, under, in order to understand how it is created, we need to first understand how the circle is created. So in this chart, we are using two circles in a circle where you can see the starting point of each of these bars is and the outer circle where we are deciding till how far that bar should go. So that's the circumference of the outer circle, which is dependent on the sales. So if we look at the chart of the circle, how the quadratic equation of circle works basically. So here you can see a circle where the center point is H comma K. So these are the coordinate of the origin of the circle and where we have this hypotenuse as a radius and x and y are the coordinate at the circumference of the circle. So considering these points, we can we have the equation which says x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. So considering that, if we look at this angle, that's the theta angle. So basically sine of theta is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. So in this case, it will be O divided by h. So O is nothing but our y x is value and h is our radius. So we can say sine theta is equal to y upon r. Similarly, our cos theta will be x upon r. So we, using this trigonometrical function, we derive that y is coordinate, y coordinate is equal to r sine theta and x coordinate equal to r cos theta. So we'll be using these two equations to find x and y coordinate on the circle. So if we look into, again, this circular bar plot, so this is our inner circle. So all these x and y coordinate is nothing but based on the formula and which we will drive how, how we created these values. And in order to create this point, it's nothing. We will simply say x is equal to, like here we had, x is equal to r cos theta. For the outer circle, we will simply increase the radius by the value of sales. So we will say x is equal to r plus sales value into cos theta. So that's what we are doing. So this bar is the length is based on the sales value. So we will simply say r plus the sales value is the new radius for the outer circle. And then we simply multiply it by sine or cos value to get the x and y coordinate. So Let's now get into Tableau Desktop and see how this chart is created. So I will simply go to a new Tableau Desktop workbook and I will connect to Sample Superstore data set. So while it's connecting there, we will simply, okay, here you go. So we got it connected. So first of all, we need to create a table to understand 
what all values we are working with. So I will bring the order date into a shelf and I will select month and year for that order date. And I want the discrete values, so I will put it here and you can see we have the values from January 18 to December 2021. Then I will bring the sales value and you can see all the sales value here. And then I would like to create first index function and index function is just used to show the row numbers for each of these values. So it index all these rows. So I will bring the rows here. We just put it here and I will go to the discrete values and you can see we have all the index values from 1 to 48. So once we have created the index value, we need to work on the angle. But before we work on the angle, we want to create some parameters. So we are going to create these parameters just to make the chart a bit more dynamic. So first parameter I would like to create is the inner radius. And that value will be an integer. And let's keep it like 25,000 value because we are trying to create it for the sales value. You can choose any value you want, but just I have worked out this value works pretty well right now, but we can dynamically change when we want it. So click OK. Then I will create an angle. So the full angle which we want to uh, work on. So we can create it around the full circle or we can create it just on the 180 degree axis or 270 degrees or 3 fourth quarter. So we can, we can work it out and make it dynamic as much as possible. So full angle and I will select this as an integer and by default we keep it 360. That's fine. Press OK. So once we have created this one, um, we have created the angle. So basically as I showed you in the other dashboard, so we have inner circle and outer circle. So in order to create these two circles, we need to duplicate the data set. So how we can do that? So let's go back to the other workbook and I will simply go to data source and in here we are using sample superstore data set. So I will just use the order table and in this case the order table which we are using I will just drag it and union that data set. Uh, it's, it's taking a bit of time. Here you go. So yeah. Here, once we have, these are all the tables in the sample superstore data set, and we just need the orders to go here on this data pane. So let's, let's give it one more second. And here you go. So you can see this relationship. I don't want people, so I will remove people, and I will remove returns. And I just want to bring another orders and put it on top of this one, so you will see the union happened. So that is fine and I will simply go to sheet one. So now what I need to do is I need to create a calculated field. And this calculated field is for angle increment. And I will simply use this value. And angle increment, what we are trying to use here is basically we are saying because we are using 360 degrees so we want to use our parameter which we created it's a full angle parameter and we want to say we want to divide it by how many month years we have so we have 48 so either we can hard code that value or we can make it dynamic so in order to make it dynamic we need to use a fixed calculation and we need to use a month year value so in order to bring that so I want to bring this value here so I can simply drag and bring it here so fixed and I will use um, count distinct off so here I go so count distinct and I will do it this way and you will see here we are saying 360 degree is the full angle currently we are using and we are fixing the data set 
we are saying count distinct month and year which we have it here so in this case we have 48 so 360 divided by 48 will give us the angle for each of these rows so let's see what it comes to so angle increment i will bring it here as well and once i bring it here i will move it to discrete and you will see 7.5 across the board but we want angle to be increased like 7.5 here and 15 here so in incrementing by 7.5 so what we can do is we can actually create a new calculated field and we can simply say angle and here what we can do is we can do the angle increment which we have created so angle increment and then we will multiply that with the index value which we created so index value which we created so now we have created this and uh, so we need to do the average of this value because we have multiple values so if we do average it will give us the same thing so if i apply that and bring the angle to the table and make it discrete again you will see here 7.5 15 22.5 and it's incrementing that way but if you know like in tableau the angles are converted into radians because tableau understand it in radians so what we will do we will simply convert this thing into radians and i will press ok so these are the values of the angle in radians so that's as easy as that and i would like to create another parameter for dynamic calculation if i want to adjust the angle so angle adjustment so that will be a gain in an integer value so that's the integer value we'll be creating for this uh, or we can use float as well so let's try it with float and let's keep it whatever like let's let's keep it zero degree as now and in the angle calculation when we go there so here we have converted the angle after multiplying it by index right so before even converting that we can add the angle adjustment so in here if i do another parenthesis and in here i add angle adjustment so what it is basically doing it's just adding the angle value so we can move the axis the way the angle basically the way we want it so i will show you in a second how it works so press ok and nothing has changed here which is all good so now what we need to do is we need to create a x-axis and y-axis so how we can do that so i will simply go to create calculated field and i will type in x and x-axis is nothing but cos of angle into radius so cos of and uh, cos of uh, angle which we created so and that's our normal angle and into radius so radius we haven't created it yet so i will just leave it as of now here and i will create another field which is radius and here the interesting bit is like in radius we need to basically use the table name so when we did the union we had two table names right so we will simply say if table name equal to orders then what we want is the inner radius right but we will say else whatever we have it's inner radius plus sum of sales and and here we want to do the average and at both the places we will put average because we just want the average value of the inner radius and table name is the field created when we do the union so we will simply put attribute here and you will see the calculation will work now so this is our new radius so we are saying 
for orders, which is our first table before the union, we are using that value in there for inner radius. And for second table, which we did union, the table name is orders one. And for that, we are saying inner radius plus sum of sales. So this will create the bar, or you can say a line. So click OK. And just in terms of data set to show what is order one and two, if you click on this one and say edit union, and you will see a window will pop up. And there it will give us the option for two tables. So the one will be orders normally, and the other one will be orders one. So these are the two tables which are union. So we go back to the sheet and now we have created, uh, we have just created radius. So we will go to X axis and we will say multiplied by radius. And it will work like that. And then we go to Y axis and Y axis is nothing but sign into um, radius value. And if I go back here, yeah, so that's fine. So I will create a Y axis now. And I will go to Y and we'll say sine of angle into radius. So now that we have created um, X axis and Y axis, I will simply go and create a worksheet and I will bring the X axis into the column shelf and y axis into the row shelf and you will see just one dot created here and then I will create the bring the table name into detail shelf and I will bring the order date which I will change into month and year into our row shelf and I will make it discrete as well discrete and in the X and Y axis, the way it is being calculated is just by table across. So we want to make sure that it's computed using order date. And then I will do the same thing for Y axis order date. And you will see the inner circle is created. And there is, this is the outer circle, which is based on a different sales value. And you will see right now these are appearing randomly, right? But actually they are not. So let's convert the marks uh, to a line chart. And you will see here they are moving unevenly, right? And this is because the order was different. And when I move the table name into the bottom order, or even you can move the table name into path, and it will understand how to connect in a circle with the outer circle. And the, bar, uh, the circular bar chart is created. And you can now do a bit of formatting here. So just, you can change the colors. In this case, we can actually bring the order date year into colors, and you can see the different colors are created. And you can see here, it's starting from December 2018, December, November, it's going in the different order. So I will reverse it, and you will see December, January, February, it's um, January, February, it's all going in the clockwise direction, right? And also, if we want to show the dynamic feature, so I will go uh, show the parameters for full angle, angle adjustment, inner radius. So let's try with inner radius. So we can change to 40,000. And when we change it to 40,000, it will increase the inner circle. You will see the inner circle is bigger now. And that's where we made it dynamic. So you can keep it static as well, but I felt it's better to create it dynamic. So whatever value you want here, put it, and it will increase or decrease the diameter of the inner circle. And full angle is 360, so it's plotting everything across the entire year, across, uh, across the circle circumference. So for example, I want to show everything in terms of uh, 270 degree, right? I will change it to 270 and you will see it's plotting in the 270 degree or even I can do it 230 degree and it's like that. But now this angle adjustment feature come into picture because I don't want to show it like this. Even though it's starting from 2018 in this order, which is fine, but I want to show it in a different angle. So 
I can do it like minus 29 degree it makes it this way or I can do it 30 degree it does it that way or 60 degree it makes the angle like that and if I change it to minus 60 or minus 90 so that way you can play around so this is the main purpose of uh, doing it this way or if I just keep it zero and let's say I want to keep it uh, 360 degree itself and I want to bring an order date and I only want to show two years so let's say I want to show 20 and 21 so once I do that you will see that it's only showing it on a semicircle and this is because this filter is applying on all the filter calculation which are having fixed calculation so this filter is coming after uh, applying all the fixed calculation in tableau order of operation so in order to overcome that and if i want to show all these two years across the circle i will go here and change it to add to context and once i do that so this calculation is done first and all other calculation in the table are done after that so the circular bar chart is plotted in this way but if i remove this or if i remove it from context so fixed calculation are happening before this filter is applied so that's why it's doing in a semicircle so that's how we can create a circular bar chart and you can play around it with with it you can increase the size and see what fits the best you can remove this and there are a lot of different ways you can play around with it and i hope you guys like this session and if you have any questions any feedback or you want to know it to do it differently any comments feel free to let me know and i will see you guys next time thank you